Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing well. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the second part of the kingdom, Animalia. Okay, and that is the classification of vertebrates. In the previous video, already I have told you that the 95 to 97% of all the animals are the invertebrates, whereas only 3 to 5% of all the animals are vertebrates. And you know the vertebrates are those who are having the backbone. Okay, and this backbone will cover the nerve cord or the spinal cord. Now, as you can see here, the vertebrates are having five classes. Okay. That is the Pisces, Amphibia, Reptiles, then Apes and the last one is the Mammals. This uh, diagram is given in your book. Okay. So, the classification is what? Uh, Pisces, Amphibian, Reptiles, Apes and the Mammals. So, vertebrates are divided into five groups. In uh, overview, uh, we can only uh, differentiate this, uh, that is the Pisces includes all the aquatic animals, especially the fishes, amphibians, those who live both on land and water, and reptiles, the creeping ones, uh, or, and they live mostly on the dry land, okay, and then apes, apes, all the birds, flying animals are included, and mammals, uh, which uh, feed their young ones with the milk okay with their milk so it is very easy to understand this uh, on the basis of the names you can easily group uh, them group the organism into a large uh, number okay so children this vertebrates animals with the backbones are considered as uh, vertebrates so the fish fish are grouped into what in which group they are that is the pisces then reptiles are there okay then the amphibians amphibians here you can see that the frog is the amphibian which is like both on land and water then reptiles okay so the creeping ones and the birds are there or that is they are kept in the class apes and then the mammals now one by one we will study about the all uh, you can say the classes now what are the basic characteristics of the pisces pisces as you know all the fish are present in this earlier you see we have stopped till the echinodermids they are also living inside the uh, sea okay or the most of the invertebrates are present in the water okay especially the marine water okay so here you can see then what are the vertebrates present in that water they will uh, be uh, considered in the pisces so what are the main features of the pisces or the fishes they are the aquatic animals streamlined body that means narrow at both end okay you can see the fish okay both side the narrow end is there okay and in the middle portion they are the broad one why is it so because this kind of body will help them to swim into the water okay to make the way into the water also they are having the fins okay these are the fins which help them to move the water sideways okay then the next is the cold blooded animals they are the cold blooded animals that means the temperature of their blood will vary according to the temperature outside okay then the next one is body is covered with the scales you can see the shining things are present on the uh, hard things they are present on the uh, surface of the fish body okay and uh, that is the waxy one okay which does not absorb water even if they are living inside the water and the next one is the breathe through their gills okay they are having the gills with that they exchange the gases inside their uh, in the body and outside the body and also they give birth to the uh, by laying eggs okay they lay the eggs they give the eggs and then uh, the new generation comes out now next class is the amphibians so who are the amphibians those who live both on land and water now up to pisces they live were living inside the water only but now they are uh, coming outside the water that is a, they are the middle one that means they can survive both in land and the water so amphibians live uh, in water as well as on the land body covered with slimy and slippery skin okay slippery skin they, they are also having the waxy skin so that the uh, water should not get absorbed into the body they are also cold blooded okay that's why you see the hibernation process is there and the uh, um, estivation winter sleep and the summer sleep okay to uh, 
save themselves to protect themselves from the harsh weather because the temperature of their body changes according to the temperature outside then most of them have two pairs of legs adapted for making long jumps okay the first two pairs they are uh, helpful for the long jumps and all okay then they give birth by laying eggs in the water so as you know about the fr frog they are having the tadpoles tadpoles the first they swim inside the water and then as they will grow up in the adult their tail they disappears and then the structure is totally changed okay so that's why for survival they have to in the beginning they have to be in the water and after that they can come out from the water breathe through the lungs and the moist skin okay lungs and the moist skin lungs when they are on the land and moist skin when they are inside the water now the third class is the reptiles reptiles are the also the animals and they are having uh, they are uh, further divided into many uh, groups okay so here the common trait uh, in that or co common characteristic of the reptiles are uh, that is they are the cold blooded one okay as i told you temperature body temperature va uh, variates uh, according to the temperature outside okay then uh, teeth are all same shape and size they are having the teeth okay they lay eggs then they take care of themselves after hatching okay the organisms which are coming out from the eggs they will take care of themselves mm, okay and then uh, they are having the tough dry skin protective skin or plates outer covering they are having the dry skin okay and the tough one you can see in the snakes and the lizards and tortoises and the turtles you can see that they are hard covering uh, to protect them and the alligators and the crocodiles are also there they are having the rough scale okay rough body okay and they have two pairs of limbs each limb has five digits with the claws they also can breathe with the uh, lungs and uh, one thing is that they are having the three chambered heart okay and uh, also they the reptiles they are their x are the leathery one okay and the yolk is present inside it okay so uh, the examples you can see here next to the fourth group is called the apes uh, that means all the birds are kept in this group so body covered with feathers and uh, they are also having the streamlined body when the wings with the help of that they fly uh, streamlined body again you see narrow at both ends so that they can easily fly in the air movement okay now up to reptiles it, uh, they were the cold blooded now more advanced came and then they become the warm blooded they are kept in the uh, apes okay so warm blooded animals that means their body temperature will remain constant as their blood temperature will also remain uh, constant they do not bother about the temperature outside okay so that's why they are known as the warm blooded animals bones are hollow and light in weight why so that their body should uh, get lifted very easily into the air from land to the air also they can remain uh, for longer time into the air then they have scales only on legs and the claws of, on their toes okay scale now they don't have the scale they have the feathers okay to cover their body jaws provided with horny beaks but have no teeth they don't have the teeth as the reptiles were having they are only having the beaks but the beak structure differ from uh, animals uh, different animals just like duck uh, duck is having the flat beak okay and then sparrow is having very small beak uh, similarly parrot is having the pointed beak eagle is also having the pointed beak so according to the food they eat or the uh, how they catch their prey uh, that is depends on that the structure of the beak also female lay hard shelled eggs <coughs> and when we talk about the um, heart they are having the four chambered heart earlier you see the pisces are having the two chambered heart but uh, uh, here you can see that um, uh, amphibians and the reptiles and then apes uh, sorry amphibians and reptiles are having three chambered heart and the apes and the mammals are having the four chambered heart because they are the more advanced one so if we talk about the birds there are 8600 species of birds found in the world okay and You know, of these 1200 types of birds are found in the indian subcontinent okay so we are having most of the birds types of birds okay because you see that uh, how they are able to survive over here because the temperature here is moderate okay neither too cold nor too hot but the moderate temperature so this uh, our india is very much suitable for them to survive 
and the last one that is the mammalia so kingdom uh, you can say the mammalia are further divided into many groups but their uh, characteristic same characteristic what they follow that is the males have the body here that protects them from the cold or the sun okay and then mammals have three middle ear bones that help give uh, helps give them good hearing they can hear very nicely and they are having the external ears also which project outside and they have four legs and a tail okay and um, they are having the four chambered heart the females have the milk to feed their young ones and uh, the mammals are also warm blooded just like the birds okay so that's why uh, especially present presence of mammary gland that will uh, make them or consider them as a mammal apart from that uh, one bird is there uh, seems like bird but exactly it is considered as a mammal that is the bat okay bat is having the mammary gland though it can fly but it is having the mammary gland and it can give birth to the young ones so students hope you all have understood the topics if you have any doubt or question you can ask in the comment section below please like share it with your classmates subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get my latest updates thank you and take care